Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David and Ark, and today we've got a special presentation for you. This is a tuner's day out. This is a Beam NG Drive campaign brought to you by High Def, created and written by High Def himself. Executive producers, Hero of God, Gamer Gall, and Los Wilco. And I'm David and Ark. I'll be doing the gameplay and the voiceovers. Enjoy A Tuner's Day Out, Chapter 1. Man, I gotta get this piece of junk hopper fixed. I'm gonna take this heap over to Dan's garage and see if he'll have a look at it for me. Glad you brought it to me, bud. Your head gasket had blown. You were well, well low on engine oil and the timing oh, was way out. It should run much better now. Oh, what's that? You, you have no money. Well, uh, I could do with some mail being collected. You fetch it here to me, we'll call it a deal, yeah?
Thanks, man. I'm so busy at the moment. That was a uh, real help. Say, uh, I would be happy to do some more work on your op if you could uh, do some running around, you know, picking some stuff up for me. I need a few boxes picking up from the farm. Bring them to me, and we'll see about getting a new twin cop set up fitted with a 95 octane tune. Just don't be too long.
awesome. And thanks for getting that gear for me. Lucky you did, because there were some O-rings in there that I needed to fit your new twin carb system. I also flushed out the 91 fuel, filled and tuned it to 95 octane unleaded. Also, I took off your spare wheel, removed your rear seats to help with the weight. It should feel uh, nicer in the corners now as a result. Now, my friend, my dear, dear friend, are you up uh, for another errand? My friend Paula, well, she's out of town, but she uh, booked me to do an engine swap for the LSD to her Merrimar. I was going to fetch it, but uh, I'm up to my ears in work at the moment, so I could really use your help. You drive over to Paula's, and you should just leave your hopper there. You drive Paula's Miramar back here so I can get this 1.9 lump in. Miramar over to Dan's garage. What the heck, man? I'm just like this errand boy taking care of Dan's junk for him. Oh well, I guess as long as he's gonna keep upgrading my hopper, I guess we'll just keep on rolling. Right, that's all done. Diffed, swapped, and tuned. Uh, you take it steady now. Take Paula's Miramar back to her place. Bring your hopper back here. I found a nice exhaust system that I could whack out on there. The one you have on at the moment. Very restrictive. And it's stock to boot.
All right, well, that's done. Let me get out of here, head out from Paula's, and cruise on back to Dan's place. See what else he's got lined up for me. That's all done. I put this stainless sports exhaust onto your hopper. That should help a bit with the power, but, you know, it's still a nugget in my opinion. I need another favor from your buddy. Uh, this time, it's a little different. See, I was supposed to be racing in a small hatchback race with the local club, but yet again, as you see, I'm too busy. Oh, uh, why don't you go? You enter the race in my place. Do it for me. It's starting soon, so if you would, I'll look in the back cupboard and see if there's any old race parts that'll fill your hopper back there. You never know. Appreciate it, man. Well, here we go. We're going to race around in this goofy little hatchback thing. Well, the race is about to start here. There's going to be two laps. Well, we'll see how this goes, I guess.
Oh, great stuff. You come back to the garage, take a look at what I got for you. Right. So uh, I found a high lift racing camshaft and I fitted it to your hopper. Well, that's the least I could do to thank you for racing for me. Your hopper will rev higher now. Yeah, it should be pretty nippy. Alright, so I need some parts to be dropped off on the other side of town. Would you drop them off for me? You can take the highway around, test your engine out. Well, now that that's done, all right, so let me get back to Dan's place from his customer over here and see what we can do. Once again, I'm just kind of running all over town. Well, for what it's worth, I am getting my hopper upgraded.
Hey, thanks for that. I found some old sway bars and I fitted them through your oppa. They should help with cornering. Now, I have an opportunity for you. It's another race, but with bigger cars this time. I got a friend that's taking my banger race car to the race. If you wouldn't mind competing for me, I would obviously repay you. Uh, what do you say to a turbo for your oppa? Stay here tonight, in the spare room. In the morning, you get your butt to the race starting point, all right? Here we go, another banger event. Three laps in this one. I'm not sure how we're gonna drive this big old boat around here. Let's just see how it goes.
Now that that's over, time to get back to Dan's place from the Bangor race. I hope he's happy with the way things turned out, or at least not mad. Great stuff, man. Well done. 
As promised, Yohapa has a little turbo, but at the moment it's only pushing about 7 PSI of boost, you know what I'm saying? Look, there's a dude on the other side of town. He needs a lift here and back. Ah, uh, you'll like him. He's another car guy. Look, if you couldn't help out, that'd be great. And I'm sure by now you know, I will gladly reward you for your service. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Jim. Thanks for the lift, man. I really appreciate it. Nice ride. Dan tells me you put a turbo on here. I know a thing or two about that kind of thing. Oh man, that was pretty cool hanging out with you guys. I sure appreciate the fact that you worked on the turbo. I'm uh, sorry I gotta take you back to your place, but hey, you guys managed to get the turbo running at 11 PSI of boost, so I'll take it, man. I appreciate it.
Hey, uh, thanks for the lift, man. Oh, yeah. Dad wanted me to let you know to uh, meet him down the road a bit. It's kind of a surprise thing. Uh, good to meet you, man. Take care. in a pile for the past few days, but I'm moving away from here, I'm afraid. It's about time you and me, we had a proper race. Now it's on, right here, right now. You beat me, we'll see what cars I have in the lockup down there. 